Brain goes all over the place when I think about this fight. Listen, do you know what I'm saying? We, we, we know who's. Sorry, go. Ahead. Tony Bellew is no fool. Yeah. Tony Bellew is one of the cleverest fighters out there that understands our game. That understands if he can find a way, he'll find it. He don't want to fight Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder's too long, tall, gangly. He don't want to fight, fight, fight Anthony Joshua. He understands what he can do and what he can't do. He wants to fight uh, Alexander Usyk because he sees something we he's don't. Seen something, yeah. Like he's done in the past. He sees this is achievable. Tony Bellew's boxing ability is underrated. He's actually a very good technical fighter. He can fight, but he's actually very good. I think he's technically he's actually better than Usyk. Oh my god. Tony Bellew is better technically than Alexander Usek. There you go. Like I said to you, when glue is life. These people are on thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds per year. Year in, year out. These people are telling you, the fans, what they think. They're no better than any hardcore fan that I speak to every day on my channel who send emails in, who comment on YouTube, who pay the subscription fees. These people don't know anything more than the rest of us. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Good morning all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? 10 to 7 in the morning, look at that, 10 to 7. Early bird catches word. Early bird catches the worm, doesn't it? We're up at 6 o'clock. You know. Put it in reverse, Russ, it does help. Put your reverse camera on thing, wherever it is. See where I'm going now. Uh, early bird catches worm, doesn't it? Uh, Let's see if we can get some graft done today. Because uh, I want to get on top of this week. Video is going out because the last couple of days they've been going out a bit late, which is sometimes it's going to happen, that innit? Don't forget, we're learning our job, we're not university educators. But it doesn't mean to say you can't make a success of your life in anything you do, just because you've got. You know, university education. My friend said that to me a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I agree with him. Put hard work in, you'll be alright, won't you? Unless you get a leg, leg up like uh, people who were born into it, into a few quid. So, but, uh, no, there you go. Turn that off. Not really, sure, not really sure what to speak to speak about. I've got two scripts in boat wrote for today. Uh, both good videos. Uh, one, it's not to do with heavyweight division, it's to do with lightweight division. Uh, the other one, I forgot now. I think that's to do with uh, the big dosser. It's just a finishing touch that I put to it from the other day. Uh, it's pretty simple really, uh, somebody asked me about phoning in today, I can't remember who it were by the time this video was out, hopefully you might have rung so I'll have to check my phone for that but uh, I ain't got a problem with people ringing in daily I'll give my phone number out to anybody, because this phone number I've got now, is just, I'm just using it for uh, for the channel I've got a new a new, a new number coming on uh, 16th, I think. So, but anybody who rings me on a Wivel number, I don't answer them. And if you ring and shout, whatever, some like that phone, if I am. You have to text me first. If you've got my number, text me first. Because if you ring and I don't, and I, you're not in my logins, I just don't answer it. So, you know, my phone, most of the time when I'm not in office it's turned off so or it's volumes down on it because you've got to have an open life haven't you but uh, I probably should get uh, another phone just to use it for this but I just like to have one number myself I think people who've got two phones are always up to no good but uh, that's not for me that no more 
but uh, I ain't got a problem with people ringing. Uh, I think it's good if you speak to fans because the fat channels. I'm not going to say oh it's fat fans, it's fat fans. Channels basically for for me to do something with my life. And I'm doing something with my with somebody I've grown up with, and it's good because I don't feel that I have to have eyes in the back of my head. There's trust there. Uh, most things I do with other people, there's not much trust there unless I've grown up with them. Because there's something inside us that feels that if you've grown up, if you've grown up with somebody, you trust them for life, don't you? No, uh, that's how I feel anyway. You meet people when you're in your forties and that. You don't know them from Adam, do we? So you have to take them with a pinch. We take it with a pinch of salt. With what most people say, unless you get to know them really well, and there ain't that many people that I trust who uh, I've grown up with. It take, it's very hard for me to trust. But uh, channels going in the right direction. We're happy with numbers and that. People can send me emails saying, eh, "You only got so and so views and that." I've only really been trying a month, haven't we? Got to let it grow. No, nothing's given to you. I watched a video last night. I thought it was a good interview on iFilm. Coogan and Johnny Nelson, six-year-old video, 2,300 views. One last week with Johnny Nelson, 87,000 views. So, Coogan's put the work in, hasn't he? He's got to be given respect. Anybody who puts the amount of work in he does, you've got to be given respect. And I think I told him that a long time ago. He's an hard worker. I went to Manchester for Frotch Groves waiting. I took James Elder and he's a mate out from Manchester, took him around Manchester on me and uh, I said come on Coogan, he was getting out of the black cab, he went no I've got to go up and edit this so he's pretty dedicated Coogan and I admire that he's obviously wants to be famous doesn't he so good luck to him but he's an hard worker nobody can say any otherwise and do you know what that travelling it knocks it out you yeah. I know I know Coogan uh, likes travelling and that and I'm not a big travelling fan me uh, hopping on planes here there and everywhere Dennis is I'm not uh, I've got friends I've got one uh, called Debbie Beetlestone her son's gonna be a famous sinky Frankie Beetlestone is it Beetlestone yeah and Debbie Debbie loves going on a plane now I'm not uh, the type, I'm not like, an hour to Jersey on a plane's enough for me, I'm not, I don't like airplanes, I don't feel in control on a plane. Is that a cop car? Uh, gone. No it won't, just a white X5, paranoid this morning. Uh, I'm not a lover of planes, but uh, uh, it's a... Uh, Something that I'll never get over. I don't. I just don't like aeroplanes. I don't like them. Uh, I'm not all over them. So let's say, for instance, I, I do a lottery me right every month. Hundred quid a month every month without fail. Don't even have to go get a ticket. It's all sorted. Hundred quid a month. Or is it ninety six to hundred and two quid a month? I do it for peace of mind. Set my kids up for life, then, can't you? But if ever I win it. I won't be going on aeroplanes. I'd go around British Isles, me. I think Britain's beautiful. Britain, Scotland, ten beam Wales, up Scotland. I think Scotland's gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. I really, really think it's gorgeous. Uh, I do honestly just think it's gorgeous. Some of them houses near to see in Scotland. But lovely. Why people want to move to England from Scotland? I don't know. I think Scotland's miles beautiful on coast, but then again England is, isn't it? England's beautiful. Scotland is as well, and Wales. All beautiful islands. All beautiful beautiful isles, but why people want to be look at Den. Places in Jersey and Tenerife and all that. What's all that about? Kev. It's got a villa abroad in Spain. It's got Caribbean today. What's all that about? What's up with Britain? Skegness, Bridlington, Cleethorpes, Fish and Chips. So with that, Whitby. Not for me all that jet setting. 
not for me. I were in bits in Bulgaria with Frank, five days. In bits. I like Britain, me. Blackpool I've only been to twice. But that's not bad. Looks a bit run down some parts of it though, doesn't it? But anyway, we're going off subject here. Maybe I should do a set another channel up and talk about life in general, politics or Brexit or holidays, but we'll keep it boxing. But now that I'm, I'm going to do a, a few videos today, we're going to go through what needs to be put out and what needs to be edited. It isn't just about doing a script, but as I was saying at the beginning, somebody sent me something in asking me about how you start channels up and that, and then they were saying, well, they could do it and that. Well, I'm not taking that as like a you can do better than me because there's loads of better channels than mine isn't there there's a lot of people more polished all I can say to people is go and get a camera right and then go get somewhere where you can do it in day because if you're just going to do it in house I think it's too easy to it's too easy to get lazy in it for example I've got a gym on in, in a big shed right and uh, I don't use it like I should I've got one of them punch bags with water thing at the bottom so you don't have to hang it off ceiling, I don't use that as much as I should but if it were up here I'd use it and uh, I've got pads and old gloves and that I don't use it as much but if they're up here at the factory here I would so I think it's the same with videos, I don't think I was as dedicated when I was doing it you know from from home that's how I, what I think anyway go on boy racer Oh, boy racers flying by me here, ST's focus. If I were 10 years younger, I'd chase him and stalk him. I'd be on his backside like that, man, chasing him. But, uh, but get a camera, go and do it, find somewhere to do it. See if somebody will give you an office and sponsor you, back you in office. If not, you'd have to pay for an office. Go get your camera and your tripod and all your bits that go with it, that'll be an easy grand. If you can't get an office, you're going to be paying five, six hundred a month for that. You put petrol in your car to go there, and then you've got to get right gyms and that, or you get to know people in the industry. I should go to gyms more and that, but I prefer to be, not a critic, but I prefer to give an opinion. Because there's a lot I don't like about the industry. There's a lot of things that I've pointed out at British Boxing Board of Control. About pensions and that. I believe that everybody should have a pension, or every, everybody should have some money put aside when, until they're, you know, at least 60. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot of money, but, you know, I, I think that boxers could put some away. But the money people in boxing at the moment who are not novices are the journeymen, aren't they? Because they're out twice a month, if they don't get stopped, picking up five grand a month and they've all got day jobs. They're the guys pulling up in the Range Rovers, like Terry said on his pod of a night. I'm not going to say this journeyman's name or I know, but I know a journeyman and he's driving around in, in an 80 grand car. It's probably worth half that much now. He owns his house, he's got a few quid. Journeyman. He loves the sport, he's just there to have a move around. See, that's another thing I don't like move arounds. They're just there to go on back foot, aren't they? To get rounds to to the prospects. I don't agree with that. I think they should get stuck right into them prospects. And stick it to promoters. That's what I think and I'm not bothered which promoter that is. I'm not fans are there paying the money. They don't want to see move arounds. I don't want to go to your call and see a move around on somebody's show. I want to see them get stuck in I want my money's worth. So I have a problem with that. I have a problem with pensions. I pulled a couple of people front board about it and they're like oh when they see me, I go, come here, I want you. They go, oh, 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 I've just got to speak to so and so. Oh, have you seen Glen Rhodes? That who is it? What's he calling with beer? Have you seen Glen Rhodes, Porky? Oh, yeah, he's over there. You can see him. I want to see. I want to. I want to wave you about pensions. Oh, like that. Ooby dooby doo. Ooby dooby doo. Pensions for boxers. So when they come out of the sport, they've got a few quid or a saving, just a savings book. Give them, take a third of every purse off them after, say if a fighter gets two and a half grand for a fight after everything, or gets two grand or something. Give them 1,500, put 500 in a savings thing. And then when they're retired, tell them, right, if you retire now, you can't come back. If you take this money, you can't come back. 
And if you do want to come back, you've got to pay 700 for your new medical. Trust me, they'll not want to retire if they're thinking about coming back. And then we're not going to have boxes, are we, with no money? Or that, something for like injured boxers, you know, like Jerome Wilson. Dave Caldwell were his manager, wasn't he? He was told not to fight that kid when he Sir John Bomber again, but it's Serge, I think. Well, he got injured, didn't he? What's Caldwell done for him now? What has he done for him? He don't even give him time of day. What's Callis Howland doing for... Uh, sorry, not Callis Howland. Who was it who were in charge of Edward Gutnick? Who were manager or promoted it? We were on a Barry McGuigan show, wasn't it? And I like Barry McGuigan. He were on a Barry McGuigan show. But what, what's happening with that? What, 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 where's this big whip round or dinner for him? I mean, he's been ill for ages now, hasn't he? A good few years. What's that? Is it just swept away? Is boxing gonna ignore that? Hey, I don't get that. George Groves is a millionaire. Like, I'm not saying dip into your pocket, George, but arrange some and sign a load of gloves and get some pictures framed and that. And I'll, I'll buy one. I'd buy one. Uh, you know, poor Edward Gutnick, Eddie Gutnick. Poor Jerome Wilson. What's that? Who's looking out for them out of the boxing industry? At British Boxing Board of Control or German? Is he, is he German? Who's looking out for them kids, eh? You know, for every <coughs> for every Carl Froch and George Groves, there's a Jerome Wilson, isn't there? Or a, you know, a, 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 a Michael Gomez. You know, people like that. Who's looking out for these kids? That's what I want to know. But. Uh, I just think that some something should be set up for them, you know, and I can't change boxing on my own, not that because my cries are going to get drowned out, aren't they, I ain't got the following and who's going to listen to me, Coogan Cassius, half a million followers on social media, he could make some noise, couldn't he, but then he might upset people, he's got to think of his own earnings, everybody's got to think of themselves, they're not all in a fortunate position like me, whereas I can take it and leave it, you know what I mean, uh, Peter Fury can take and leave boxing, if you were jacked in, if you if you were jacked in, Peter had jack in I think, he take it or leave it Peter, it's an hobby to him, like me, but I want to see things done properly, pensions and stuff put out for people that are injured and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Look at this, first one in. First one in. I'm even going to reverse up today. But yeah. But uh. I just feel that uh, think something needs to be done. Something needs to be done about pensions and stuff like that. Something needs to be done. And let, let's hope it does get done. Let's hope it does get done. But what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to text my man here. Dave, see if he's on it. Uh, let me just get a script. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of a few other boxers that uh, could have done with a pension now. You know, at this at this stage, at, at this stage at game, uh, pensions are important, I think, for boxers. You've got to think of the futures, and not not many, not enough people, in my opinion, are, uh, are pl uh, 
are coming out of boxing and, and they're comfortable. Uh, so, but uh, right, I think I'll go through this first video now, as it looks like. Yeah. Right. Is that it? Right, I'm gonna go off now and uh well, I'm gonna do a video in a bit. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not, not much of a video this one, it's not one of my better ones. But I have just got up and had a quick shower and I'm I'm just ready to rock and roll today. But if anybody wants to, you know, uh put some out on Twitter to Boxing Board Control about pensions for fighters or fighters that are injured you know or, or there's that lad uh, the, the the heavyweight kid who sparred you with Fury I forgot his name now uh, Asian kid uh, he, he, he's a nice kid and he, he's got a he needs a bone transplant or something like that I mentioned it in my video the other day uh, my thoughts are with people like that because it can't be nice you know, doing a sport and, and then getting ill and that, but I just think that something needs to be done about it, that's all, so peace out, keep on trying. Get it made, get it done, do whatever you've got to do, uh, because, but it won't happen this year, I think Fury said, oh, next year, I mean, because AJ's the reason why he's come back, AJ's the reason why he's getting up at stupid o'clock in the morning going running, AJ's the reason why he's chopping down from 27 stone plus to... This is 2018 January, so there you got Johnny Nelson there saying the fight's next year 2019 and that Fury's only coming back because of Joshua <laughs> when glue is life. Get down to, to fighting weight, so he's not all, done all that for nothing, for it not to be lost by two promoters' egos, he's thinking... Oh, you believe he'd been less motivated if there was kind of no Joshua on the scene? He, he wouldn't be in it, mm. he wouldn't be in it. He just won't happen. Mama's trying to catch my attention See, Johnny, they just love Joshua, don't they, these at Sky. They push the narrative all the time. But yet, he's fighting Big Baby Miller. Unbelievable.